the flag enters the room and the band chimes in. This is NATO's Land Component Command stand-up ceremony. The 28 nations created a headquarters to revitalize the training and readiness programs for NATO to operate. NATO has been dedicated for the last almost two decades to generating forces. Um, as those missions begin to draw down, uh, we have to rejuvenate some of the training uh, processes and uh, exercises um, that we uh, old guys like me grew up with. In any NATO operation, we know there'd be a good chunk of U.S. involved in it, so the land part of that would be driven out of this headquarters. The new command will exploit the experience of the NCO Corps. All the experience we've accrued over the last 10 years in Iraq and Afghanistan really resides in the non-commissioned officer corps. Sergeants, staff sergeants, master sergeants who have deployed three, four, five times. Uh, that's a lot of talent and experience. The flag is passed to General Hodges. This is a, a wonderful nation, one of the 28 nations in the alliance that has stood with NATO, and NATO will always stand with Turkey. NATO's Land Component Command is now strategically located in the Pearl of the Aegean. The Land Component Command brings countries together and helps foster relationships across the alliance. Tech Sergeant Joe Wolston, Izmir, Turkey.